Hey guys, welcome to a brand new game. We're playing something incredibly cool today, Avorian. It's basically a space sandbox simulator. If you've ever played the X games in the past, it plays so very much like those, but with an interesting build mechanic for the vehicles. As you can see, if I press F5, there's this uh, this nice little random generation in the background of all the things that are possible with the build system. It's mainly quite chunky and boxy. It's a voxelized system, but as you can see, there are ways of getting around that we've got like triangles and such forth but let's go hit the single player let's create a new first thing to note it's a seed based system that means infinite replayability if that's what you're into uh, I'm gonna go with oh yeah so big uh, all right and, uh, name of the default galaxy this one is for the tubes for the tubes all right beautiful 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 People have told me that I should really be playing on less than full collision damage. Nah, and about that, we're going to play on full collision damage and normal difficulty. Let's get going and I will show you how good this is. One beautiful quality of life um, feature that they have in this game. I want to point out as a YouTuber is the fact that they go press space to continue in the load screens. You can turn that off if that's not your, your thing. But as a YouTuber, I read out the stuff on screen quite a lot. And uh, quite often, I end up having the load screen taken away from me when I'm halfway through reading because I can't speak as fast as I can read. Uh, I'm sure you guys know this. Uh, and so this, I, I really, I really, really like that as a feature. Anyway, we are in the world. First off, let me, let me just look around. You see how this is a lovely, beautiful space simulation with like space stations and asteroids and there's other ships around and oh it's so much going on if I press the F9 button you can see in this sector alone we have this beautiful wonderful lovely looking system that shows us everything that is uh, going on in here I'm down here somewhere there's a whole bunch of stations and ships and stuff like that that we'd already talked about uh, I am currently drifting towards stuff I am in this tiny 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 little craft here compared to this ship uh, Compared to this uh, station, sorry, uh, I am tiny. And compared to the other ships around, I am actually very, very tiny. Uh, that is because there is a bunch of resources in the world. You can see this asteroid made out of rock. But what's that? Do you, do you see that glowing asteroid over there? It's 10 kilometers away. Oh, man, I'm going to go for this 7 kilometer away one. Uh, it's fairly standard space exploration. Uh, forwards, left, right. Uh, press the you know buttons to roll. I've got an up and down somewhere, but I rebound them because I, I put the up and down onto the roll keys. Uh, you know, stuff like that but more importantly if you press space you get a nice little boost space is big I don't know if you guys are aware that space is so mind-bogglingly big uh, that it, it takes time it takes absolute time to travel across so having this nice little boost system is definitely a winner here uh, another big tip of course don't fly towards stuff in space it takes time to go down this might only be a Newtonian simulation but it, it takes time to slow down. Mine asteroids to gather resources. You can either sell resources to the resource depot, which we might do at some point, or use them to build your ship. That's what we're here to actually do. We are here to build a ship. I know, crazy, right? Uh, I'm going to press down shift, get my mouse back. I'm going to tell this not to tell that again, because I know that we are after materials. Uh, now, mostly these things only work within half a kilometer, right? Yeah, okay. So we're going to come in and get within 500 meters here. Uh, and then I'm just going to start blasting this away. Uh, you can see that we're getting um little mining damage indicators there and on the right hand side you see we are receiving iron resource this resource if i press i uh is shown ooh, have i looked in the right one or is it actually in the player okay so that this game has two inventory screens i don't know why I don't know why, it just does. One for your inventory and one for one for your ships and stuff. And and inside either screen, it turns out, I was being a little bit blind to it. Sorry, my bad. Up on the top right, you have your materials, your money, which sector you're in, stuff like that. I'm going to spend a little bit of time going around and collecting up a few of these asteroids because we use this this iron to build the ship up proper. We're not actually in the, the proper ship right now. We are just in a small little scout module. Uh, once I've gone around and got myself a whole bunch of this iron, and if I'm lucky there might be some white material around called titanium but I uh I kind of doubt that because we're just in the starting area. But if I can find some of those, I will bring you back very, very shortly. At the start of the game, you just go around, you blast open a bunch of asteroids, get some materials, and then I'll bring you back for what happens next. Someday in the future, entire economies are going to depend on people's abilities to rip the, uh, the various mineral resources out of rocks floating around in space. And I am glad to partake in that particular journey earlier than the rest of humanity. Oh, I see it in the distance over there. I was looking around for iron, but I see some white material. It's 
incredibly lucky to get that in the uh, in the starting area. Uh, if you do manage to find some titanium, do go and grab it. Uh, you may have noticed that this is kind of arrayed in a list here. It's almost but not quite a tier system. Uh, there are things you can do with titanium that you can't do with iron, but there are also conversely things you can do with iron that you can't do with titanium. But in general, if you're making the same piece out of uh, the titanium rather than iron, you're going to get a better quality piece than if you would if you made it out of iron. After 10 minutes of floating around inside a Newtonian simulation and collecting a fair amount of resource, you might be going, okay, this is nice, but what else is there in the game? Well, I'm going to press the shift button again to get my mouse up. You might notice that there's a whole bunch of buttons up over here. I'm more interested in the bottom button. It says found my ship, and I'm going to press that and found the ship. What are we going to call the name of the ship? Uh, this is the the grandest entrance. I, th I think that's a great name for a ship. Now, this is a little alliance button. If you are playing multiplayer, you can share this with your partner party, group, guild, whatever you want to call it. In this game, it's an alliance. Fully recommend it. Uh, they, we're going to have to pay some money for a founding fee. That's fine. And we also get some crew. I'm, I'm fine with getting some crew. Uh, as it says, if, uh, if you're playing in a higher difficulty, you probably wouldn't get those. But, you know, that that's fine. We're, we're going to do this. I'm going to go, okay. And it takes us to this one... Wait, no. Hey. No. No. What's going... There it is. There's the ship. I was about to say, and it takes us to a build screen, but that's not actually where it takes us. It gives us a cube. Look, we are a cube. This is just like our little control center. This is where our ship starts. I assume that our little mining droid is inside there. But if we have a look at the top, we've got a whole bunch of problems. Like, you can't turn. You've got no acceleration. What's your braking about? And, oh my god, your ship is weak. So, so weak. Okay, so... It's saying everything is poor, we should try and build some stuff there. So, I happen to know that if you press the B key, you enter into this beautiful build mode. Uh, game is paused, F1 to show the build controls. Uh, yes, basically, but, but, but down below we've got a whole bunch of controls down here, but I want to just click up here, I want to get to my blocks. Of course, we have crew members, we've just been told that we have a bunch of crew members. Does it say over here that we've got them and we have to worry about them? It doesn't, but I, I happen to know that we, we got them, it told us very early on, and if I keep flicking through some of these, we've got some iron crew quarters over here. As you can see, it comes through with a tiny, tiny little box. If you press the W key it gives you uh, gives you a scale control on all of the surfaces uh, s and d do certain faces i do believe w and uh, sorry a does uh, another face as well let's just let's just hit them all uh, so w is all a is facing towards us s is on top d is over there i i assume other buttons do other things like that is q and, and e what what's e e does nothing all right anyway that's my my exploration i put down the crew block bam uh, as you can see crew eight out of 16 this block here will take 16 crew members so i'm actually going to be quite happy with that the other thing that we want of course is an engine uh, we need to move and we need to be able to move relatively fast right uh, now that that has given us an acceleration of 181 meters per second squared if you've been playing kerbal or whatever you understand intuitively what that means it's very fast let's just say that let's just say that uh, all right deceleration though the braking is no good and let's let's also have a look at our, your pitch and roll we've got zero ra radians a sec radians a second you know that part of a circle that's related to the radius <laughs> anyway uh so to fix that iron thrusters i would just throw these on the front Ba bam Now, the big thing to note about thrusters is they don't need to be uncovered to function. Can I uh, select the block to get... I can't. But if I was to place this block on the side here and imagine that we didn't have that one, we would still have sideways thrust coming out of that side of the block uh, because that's that's the way the, 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 the developer wants it. He's like, yeah, I, I actually want players to be able to build as many different types of craft as possible So uh, and, and trying to make sure there's thruster ports all over it. It's not fun so uh, i i kind of disagree with his thought process there but you know also i, I get it all right so i'm back to this uh, really boring pointy shape here i'm gonna spend five ten minutes having a little bit of a play around with it the only thing that else that i really really want to put on here that i've uh, not spoken to you guys about is down here somewhere I've got a few things uh, like the titanium generator that makes power for us. There's, there's power a thing over here. It's not. So let's just throw a titanium generator. I'm going to just throw it on the front. Uh, as I say, I'm going to rearrange all of this at some point. But as you can see, everything else has, um, has, has adjusted to show all the different scores over here. Beautiful. We've got no roll because, of course, the thrusters are only facing along the, uh, the, the center of... Um, 
of, of mass there. And, you know, if you want to be able to roll, you need to have it off of off of the center. Uh, there's also something else called the Integrity Field Generator. This, uh... This is almost a shield generator, actually. If I pop it down, you can see that it's turned all my craft blue. That is the items that are the blocks, sorry, that are being covered by this particular block. Oh, it cost me a lot of money to do that, though. Um, basically, it's times your times your uh, HP for the particular block by ten, which it's cool if you ask me. It's very cool. Other things you might want to know, there's like a, 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 a mirror plane to be done, and I need that for the thruster blocks. Thanks very much, so that I can get a bit of roll control underway. Oh, looking beautiful. I wanna, might want to replace this front th thruster with something else. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and put another set of engines on the side here. Oh, yeah, we're looking good. We are looking amazing. And now I want to put some, uh, some, some strengthening hull on the front. Let's have a look and see what we've got here. I do believe there to be some armor plating somewhere. Armor plate. Beautiful, yeah, I will totally take this. Now, we don't need to have it as uh, as ugly looking as that. I'm going to bring this down like that, and I'm even going to widen... No, no, we're just going to put the front block on. We're just going to put the front... You cannot build this. The block overlaps too much with another block. Which block? What are you on about? That's not... No... So whilst building this, I've decided that maybe having my titanium generator up front there might be not the smartest plan. So I've selected it using this select blocks tool over here, just clicked on it. Uh, and then we've got transform selected blocks. You can see I've got a whole bunch of money back and a whole bunch of materials back and stuff like that. Beautiful, wonderful, I am about it. Can I now select this block over here without, I don't know how to deselect. That's not it, that's not it. Uh, rotate, mm -hmm. Okay, the way I'm doing it to deselect is click rectangle and drag a small rectangle outside. I'm sure there's a much better way of doing that, but I have not found it. If anybody else finds it down below, uh, let, let me know in the comments. Thanks, that'd be really great. But look, bam, tra tra I've moved my power transformer into the middle there. I feel much safer now. Okay, having selected the iron armor over here, I want to try and put some edge armoring in, but as you can see, it's not rotated in the correct direction. So if I press and hold the R key, I can go around and rotate this as I need. That looks pretty good, but I do, of course, want it to come and match up with the other side. Yeah, beautiful. Can we, uh, if there is a way of moving it, I can't find out what I want to do. I want to, I want to make this a two for one slope. You know what I'm saying? I found the button that makes it highlight, but I, I can't actually make it bigger. That's a shame. That's a shame. Okay, so I spent a little bit of time mucking about with this. We could probably make a much nicer looking ship. I think for this very beginning ship, this this little junk is going to be good enough. As you can see, it's been uh, auto save for me over here. I'm also going to click the save button over here. Uh, and ooh, there's all my other, other ships that I built. Most of these are just terrible, but th this mine is going to be very useful. Anyway, let's save this. Wait a minute, where do I name it? Where do I name it? This is just a filter, it's no good. Oh wait, I've already... Uh, <coughs> Don't mind me, I named it when I when I when I formed it, right? That's that's how that works. Okay, cool. Uh, so we're just gonna save it. Great little feature. Once you have got it, you can right clip and uh, upload to the workshop. That's that's beautiful. Oh, I didn't know that. And of course, the final and very important bit. Let's let's get some colors on here. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at this coloring here. Okay, first thing to note, look at the thrusters firing. Love it. They turn for the, the, the turning as well. Beautiful. But we're being told that there are problems up there. Your acceleration is low because you have not hired enough engineers on your ship. Assign engineers or hire some at the station. Now you might remember that we were given those first eight pieces, a uh, first eight crew up here. So if we go through and try and find out where they all are, it might be P rather than I. Yeah, we've got the crew here. And we want to put more engineers. We've got seven crewmen here that's asking for one just to get the uh, the ship actually working. I'm going to put two in there, <laughs> just because that makes sense to me. I know I'm also going to need two gunners at some point, uh, because I totally intend to put gunners out on the on the ship. Uh, oh, oh, I totally forgot to do that in the build menu. We'll go back to that in a second. Of course, a couple of mechanics to fix my ship as we are going around. Two crew just for looks. In case we die or something. I, I mean, who, who knows what's going to happen. But of course, we're all grabbing a whole bunch of building materials out of here. But we've got this uh, this other little one underneath. And you can see that there's a whole bunch of turrets in there. Now, at the beginning, your ship can only support three turrets. This is because of the system upgrades that you've got uh, on you. We'll talk about those in a second. But just know that we can only, up, uh, only handle uh, a few turrets. So I'm going to put two turrets on up here. Beautiful. And then if I go to do this, I don't think it will actually allow me to put all four on. 
Not enough slots for civil, uh, civilian turrets. Install system upgrades into your ship to increase the number. So we can't put this second uh, mining turret down. I'm fine with that because I've got a feeling I'm going to need the guns a little bit more than I'm going to need the... Uh need the mining to begin with actually that's not quite true that's not quite true but it, it will be it will be all right let's press p again and let's uh let's put some more guys down oh we need two more over here and, and and instantly you can see that we are out of everything that we need that's a little bit of a shame uh crew payment is due every three hours you can set up automatic payment in the fleet tab of the player menu is that are we in the fleet tab of the player menu i have no idea we'll figure that bit out in a, in a little while i should also point out i've only played this game for 30 hours now 30 hours might sound like a long long time but you know we were showing you this uh, this system map do you want to see the galaxy map oh it's so big it's so big i spent most of those 30 hours just going around and having a look as we are still in the first episode here i do want to show that this is my grandest entrance underneath uh the, the ship we're in and if i had a captain on board i could uh, issue it orders to go around and do a whole bunch of stuff for me now i want to go and find some people uh, it turns out that we do not have the people that we want if i uh, select this resource depot and press f to interact uh you are now speaking to the automated interaction system the resource depot depot but it's got some crew in here and it's got some general crew members that's cool but it also has mechanics miners pilots lieutenants and a captain Ooh, captain's nice uh, these are actually pretty hard to find i didn't realize this was here but actually what we want we want two miners uh we just want two miners that that's exactly what we want so we need to go up and dock to this ship uh you can see when i got a little bit closer to it a whole bunch of these docking nodes opened up and we just need to get somewhat close i am slow so i'm gonna try and get into this tractor beam here once you get within about half a kilometer the tractor beam will uh give you an option and you press f to uh to, to interact with that f is is basically your major interaction button we're gonna hire some crew uh no wait <coughs> we're gonna uh, press the b button <clears throat> because there is a bit of a problem here there is a bit of a problem here uh because we have got if i get this selection here we've only got one crew set of crew cores and i want more than that because we, we we don't have the does it show us the number of crew up here configure stats it doesn't it doesn't show us the number of crew up here that's a, a bit of a shame because it's something that i would like to address so anyway we've got crew quarters um it doesn't really tell us how much it holds so i'm gonna um collect that one as well in fact i only want to select the one next to it uh, i then want to go into blocks crew quarters upgrade yeah beautiful beautiful the, the next thing i want to do actually is select both these crew quarters because there's a little button down here that says merge selected blocks now it's not going to give us more crew space or anything like that but it is going to give us a higher hp when it comes to these individual blocks connected together that's literally it you know merge 12 blocks into 11 blocks I, it sounds good <laughs> but that's that's the way right there okay and that should now mean we've got everyone apart from we need to assign our miners which we didn't buy because we needed the crew space <laughs> so i bought um a cu couple couple of uh, mechanics that i didn't mean to buy can we take away the un unused crewman okay so we've got just crewmen up there i'm gonna put one of them as our sergeant one of these uncrewed people because we've got too many engineers etc that are going around uh, and they they need they need guidance they need people to show them what to do and the sergeant is the person to organize the crew and do that as you can see you need one sergeant for every 10 crew members and i should imagine you need one lieutenant for every four sergeants look at that beautiful all right so what are we going to do next well you might have noticed that we'd run out of materials to be building our next craft and uh to well not, not even our next craft this craft uh, and to deal with that i want to have a look at our system map i want to go over to the shipyard i'm going to click on it and as you can see we've got now an arrow next to the center of my screen there if i follow the arrow somewhere over here will be the shipyard i believe it to be that one you can see it's got the f to interact next to it so we're going to start just burning our way over there um because i wish to purchase a new ship a ship that comes with a captain and a crew that can do all their stuff all on their own uh whilst we're flying over there let's talk about the gate system now if i press m um you might notice that there's little blue lines coming out of here now these are gate jumpways they just kind of go off into the distance i can jump from one sector to another because every ship comes with a jump drive it turns out fair enough uh, and you can only jump as far as the blue line allows you to uh the blue outline the blue area i suppose would be the better way of wording it 
Um, but of course, you can use gates to m travel much faster. It's literally just drive into the gate. It's great. It's wonderful. Uh, it's the best way to travel around the galaxy, if you ask me. Boosting my way over here, you can see that I have got some uh, bars down at the bottom of my screen and you can see two of them are flashing red and yellow. That's because I did not have enough battery power to continue boosting all the way over here. I would have explained as it was happening, but unfortunately my hay fever was hitting me and uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't speak. All I could do was sneeze. Uh, as you can see, my battery is now starting to refill. The flashing red bar is becoming a slowly filling yellow bar uh, and this is how long it's going to take me to be able to, uh, to boost again. Oh, actually, no, I can boost now using what is there, but it wouldn't allow me to jump drive out. Anyway, we are at this uh, this little uh, shipyard here. I'm going to cruise past this guy. I don't, I don't really want to dock to the same place that you're docking to. Ah, there's, there's the other one. All right, beautiful, beautiful. One of the things I do have to note is that your engine on the back is going to be a lot stronger, like a lot, lot stronger than your thrusters. So if you want to slow down properly, the only real way of doing it is turning around and thrusting in the other direction. Uh, if you watch my meters per second indicator at the top you see that it's yellow uh, it's, sorry it's blue right now to indicating that I'm traveling in that direction but if I turn around uh, you it travel it turns into a yellow slash orange indicator indicating that I am not traveling in that direction in fact I am traveling in the other one there is also a, uh, a set of options in the options menu funnily enough that's where they keep them uh, to turn on retrograde and prograde markers or just retrograde or just prograde I want to build a ship yes indeed i don't want any of this like none of this if i if i look down there's a button here called single block that's all i want but there's a few things that i do want i want crew and captain uh it's not a carrier how do i make it it's a minor in fact i don't know if uh, swapping that over actually does anything but there we are uh this is um mm, this is the slag sifter 9000 beautiful we're gonna build that you need more money oh Oh, that kind of pains, that kind of pains. All right, let's go find some money. And the way I'm going to find money is by mining asteroids and selling the materials. Maybe not the smartest way to do it, but it's what we've got right now. So I've come upon this asteroid here, and if I start firing, you can see I'm firing both my mining lasers, my mining laser, sorry, and my two chain guns. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to press the P and come over to my ship menu here. You can see we've got the two chain guns. I'm going to press number uh, number one while selecting those, and then down here I'm going to grab the, uh, the the mining laser and press number two. So now when I press one, you can see that down on my hotbar, just underneath my ship, there is a little icon that goes uh, bright or dark, depending on whether it's being used. Those are my chain guns, and number two... I'm going to leave on to be my mining laser. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm now going to just go around and turn this rock into credits. So I haven't been mining for a few minutes now, probably literally five minutes. I find myself within range of the resource depot over here. And this is where we come to make money off of the resources that we have been, uh, been uh, mining. Now, mostly this is not the way to go about mining resources. Oh, I've got a load there. Can I do that much? Uh, let's try a thousand. Oh, no, not, not buy. I want to sell. What? Hey. Uh, so mostly this is not the way to be making money. Mostly you'll be making money from... Ah, I noticed that I sold all my stock, not their stock. Okay, that's cool. All right, that that's... I should have been paying much more attention there. I thought this stock on the sale, station, sale to station was actually reflecting my stock, but I was wrong there. I've got to be keeping an eye on that. But anyway, I actually just made a whole butt ton of money there. So I'm going to grab some iron on the way back. But yeah, that's not the main way of making money. That's what I was trying to say there. And we're back at the shipyard. As I was trying to say over at the resource depot, selling your resources probably not the big brain play for trying to make money. There are lots of other materials to be sold in this universe. If I uh, just pick any random place, let's go for uh, the ice mine. Probably actually the better one, given that there's not many random places here. Uh, if I go and uh, trade goods, you can see they sell water here. They want to buy a whole bunch of stuff. There is a, a whole deep and complex trade network with supply and demand being put into place and oh it's so so good we can totally take advantage of it but yeah to, to get started i want to come into here i want to dock up and i want to build myself a, a vessel oh don't please don't please don't please don't okay cool i was fully expected to crash into there you remember how i was saying that your thruster blocks aren't as good as your main engines yeah well i get i get that quite a lot okay we are docked i wonder why it wouldn't let me dock until i'd actually bumped my 
nose up against it. All right, well, anyway, I want to build a ship. Uh, and as I said, I want to build this ship. One of the best things I love about this game is it remembers what you were trying to make. It's just, it's so good. Like, it's so good. Uh, one thing that I feel is a little bit disappointing is I can't load up a ship that I've already built from here. I, if, if I can, I've not seen the option to, but I want, I want to be able to, like, load a ship from here, uh, and it, it doesn't seem to be the case. All right, so let's just kind of have a little puddle around, try and find out where my my box is. Oh, actually, let's look in the bottom there. Thank you for your purchase. Your ship will be ready in about five minutes. And I think five minutes is the perfect amount of time for us to go and have a look through, let's say, that gate over there. Let's go and see how the gates work, shall we? All right, gates. They appear to be massive three floating structures in the middle of space. You kind of get an idea of what the sector behind it is looking like by the uh, the colour of the fog in there. Uh, indeed, the way that we're getting closer to it and it gets darker, I'm a little bit, little bit weird about it. Uh, going through the gates costs you credits. Probably important to remember that. It really does cost you guys money. Uh, if you've got a bit of a fleet flying around with you, which I highly recommend you do, uh, then each ship that goes through is going to cost you money. Oh, hello there, General Kenobi. Uh, please excuse the interruption, but I was hoping you could help me out. Well, I'll help you out, buddy. I'm on the hunt for a new legendary element called Avorian. According to the legends, it appears in the center of the galaxy after the event 200 years ago. But, for, I mean... 200 years ago is not really that long in the ground. Anyway, but first I have to overcome the Great Barrier and that's where things might get tricky. The Great Barrier, you say? What's that? So, are you off on an adventure too? What's the Great Barrier? Uh, people don't know for sure, but legend has it that the unsurmountable ring of torn hyperspace fabric appeared around the center of the galaxy. And now our hyperspace engines can't pass it to get to the center, meaning it's cut off from the rest of the ga galaxy. Since the event, nobody has managed to get near the center. Ooh. The worst part is that the event also spawned hyperspace rifts throughout the galaxy, which makes navigation difficult. And there's also the Zotan. Go on. Nobody knows who they are. They don't answer any intercom calls when you get close to them. They just start attacking. They have been around since the event, and some people say they were created by it. I, I would probably say they created it, but, you know, let's, let's find out. But there's also a bright side. Together with the event, the new metallic ele element called Avorian also appeared. Apparently, it's the perfect element for building spaceships. It's robust, light, and its energy properties are crazy. I've heard rumors that there's lots and lots of it in the center. So far, nobody has ever found much of it, but I'm going to change that. I'm going to fly to the center, overcome the barrier, and then I'll mine all the Avorian. I mean, that is great, but um, how, do you, how, how are you going to overcome that barrier, man? I'm not sure yet, but there has to be a way, I know it. Besides, it wouldn't be a very good adventure if everything was clear from the start, would it? Oh, I wish you the very best of luck on your adventure. Thank you. You know what? Here. This is an upgrade for your ship. It allows you to scan for hidden sectors. Oh, I'll take that. You have to install it in your ship menu for it to work, but you can only install upgrades in a real ship. It doesn't work with drones or fighters. The green blips on your galaxy map are sectors where you can find interesting stuff, but there's also a lot of things that your radar can't pick up. With this upgrade, you'll be able to scan for those hidden sectors. They'll show up as a yellow blip on your map. Oh, thank you so much, mysterious... Mysterious stranger. Bing... Bing... King... Poo... Bitch King Paul? I don't know, I can't pronounce that. Uh, and even if you don't come find me, I'm sure we'll meet again at some other time! I mean, he said that, but where where even is he? Wait. Where, who, who are you? There, there you, there you are. Where are you? You're... 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 Some... Here? You. Is, is this you? He's 20 kilometers away. He is a full 20 kilometers away. Let's go and have a look at him anyway. So this is the gate. So what I wanted to do was actually look at the map here and show you how I've I've got a, a fair number of sectors away. As it turned out, it was only just di diagonal. But, I mean, these can definitely uh, end up shipping you a very vast distance uh, compared to your hyperspace drive. Uh, hi there, dude. How are you doing? You are driving a chunky, chunky vehicle. If I try and talk to you, what do you got? Greets. Uh, hello? there um i was hoping you could help me out i'm on hunt for yeah yeah no, actually we, we we've already done this well i suppose all that's left to do is say thank you very much and let's go and try and find that ship that we had waiting around for there, there, there's there's where, where's it gone there's a gate somewhere is that the one that we want uh so that's a west southwest gate to hollow utopia alpha that's not the one i want because i happen to know that our home location was just a whole bunch of numbers i don't know why everywhere else gets a name an actual name but if we have a look southeast gate to two six zero minus three six six uh that's 
That's not a proper name, is it? We need to give this but this uh, this sector a proper name. If anybody has a good name, let me know. Um, we're not actually going to be able to change the name in game. I don't. I don't think. But we can definitely refer to it by any name we wish. Okay, so we're headed back to the shipyard, and you might notice there's a green blip next to it. I am definitely going to press that. And look, all the way from over here, I could press T to enter the ship. Now, my vessel is, of course, going to be coming from over that way. If we press that, we could. this is the grandest entrance. Look on the bo bottom right. Uh, everything is wrong with this. Everything. Everything at all. But I'm going to press B. I'm going to come into the uh, the ship's designs. I'm going to click on this. Do I now open this? Browse the workshop. Apply design. Apply design. Let's see what we've got here. All right. It's just a beast. It is just a beast. But it's a beast that I wish to put a whole bunch of turrets on. Unfortunately... I don't have any extra turrets, so we're going to have to try and do something a little bit weird. I don't want the triple chain gun here. I want to save this, so we're just going to come out. Hey, look at this. Hi, how you doing? Uh, fly towards that guy, uh, and actually what I want to do is enter the ship, press B, take the mining turrets off of here, which I can only um, only select by pressing the middle mouse button. Uh, maybe shift select will get both. Uh, whatever, let's let's delete, and then the mirror will uh, take care of that for us. I want to also get rid of this, so I can then put my chain guns, chain guns, on either side here. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, that then means, that, of course, they are ready to be, the, my mining turrets that I took off of this vessel are now ready to be put onto this vessel. Ooh, it's a little, little bit of a palaver, but it's also pretty cool. Okay, so we've just got this little pencil, maybe even sausage of a vessel here. I want to come through, I want to put the crew down. Uh, we need four miners. We do, however, have a captain. Hmm, I thought we had four miners. I, I thought we were getting crew. All right, well, it doesn't matter because we are at a place where we can get more crew. That's that's fine. I'm going to go get a dock over here or something like that. Uh, as you can see, we've got no roll control, but that's all right because this is not a ship that I wish to control myself. No, I wish to use it to demonstrate what I feel like is the best part of this game. Hey, how you doing? Can we uh, hire crew? And can I get uh, are these miners? Beautiful. Can I just get four miners, please? Okay, I threw on a whole bunch of miners and the mechanic, and I'm about to show you what the captain is for. So if I select my uh, grandest entrance over there, uh, and then we press F9 to select the slag sifter. Down here you can see we've got a whole bunch of controls, but also if I have a look here, we've got the F2 interact. We can give these orders through any method here, but what I really want to do is press mine. Okay, so to me, this is the the greatest part of this game. Not only can I myself go around and do whatever it is that I in the grandest entrance need to go do, but of course there is also my other ships. My other ships can go around and gather materials for me. As you can see above the ship uh, window on the bottom right, I am already starting to receive iron. This ship is just trying to go around and mine all the resources for me out of this area and I am so happy for it. We just ran out of battery power so it's going to take me a little while to get over there. <laughs> Ah, oh, look at this guy going around doing all the mining for me. As you can see, the, the little mining laser coming out and doing all the work. Beautiful. And you might be like, all right, Twitchy, I noticed that this is a good game. But tr truly, it's just a mining simulator, right? Well, no, that is wrong. If we come inside the big screen here, you can see that there's like this whole um, faction system. Now, this is just the faction that happens to be in this area here. And as you can see, they're very, very happy with me right now. And I'm very happy to be in a si uh, uh, an area that uh, people are happy with as well but of course there are different factions spread across this area we've got the uh, ultimate goal of trying to make it down into the central area and of course the center of the galaxy and of course all these different stations literally all the different stations if i press this you see there's a, a little exclamation mark there if i press f and go hey bulletin board he's got he's got a job for me there's all sorts of different jobs gather resources ship resources try and find people around going off and like shoot things there is of course huge combat systems to play with ah, oh, it's gonna be so great but I'm afraid with that that I'm gonna say I have ran out of time for this adventure ladies and gentlemen I will see you guys next time where well, we're gonna leave the leave our home sector here we're gonna go out we're gonna have a little explore around me and the mining vessel here we're gonna start on our giant journey towards the center of the galaxy but I'll see you then when we're gonna do that bye